Hey guys, look what we got. Believe it or not, all those little castings, I put them on eBay. I just kind of painted them and I put them on eBay. And all of them but one sold, but I'm actually keeping the one. You know, oddly enough, 101, which is my very first one, uh, didn't sell. So I'm just going to keep it because technically that's my original first piece of art. So uh, all the other ones sold, like four other ones sold. And they're so tiny. They were tiny and uh, they all sold. So that easily this um, this hobby's already started paying for itself. But stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out how I made those other ant hill castings, and I'm gonna see what we're gonna do here. I'm not gonna tell you, but stay tuned. Alright, gonna add a couple pieces of aluminum in there. Where do I pour it? Right here? I have no idea. Oh, this one's huge. Oh, I wish I had more. <laughs> oh, man. That one went all the way down. Oh. Man, that one went all the way down. That's crazy. Oh, I should have picked that one first. You just never know. That's crazy. Man, I feel like I should melt some more and pour it in there. I think I am gonna melt some more just because I got even got a base on that. So I'm gonna melt some more. We're gonna re-pour a little bit next to that, hopefully to get a base on it. So I only got a few minutes, otherwise my wife would be mad at me. Alright, here we go. Uh, That's a good one. That's all just going in. Wow. I mean, everything I poured in there, this, this may, uh, these two may join together. So we'll see. Then I tried to put a base on that one, but it overflowed. I think we're just going to stop and hope that we got something you know i hope i didn't mess up what we had originally but if we have to figure out how to put a base on these that's what we'll do Just let it cool uh the upgrades that i made which i put cement at the bottom of that 
kind of like this one and then I kind of seam into the top I have I want to put the uh, seam in on the sides as well but haven't had a chance to do that all right stay tuned and you'll see the end of it so what I did here is I framed this in because it, it is definitely going to need a base so we're going to kind of pour a base on top of that I'm going to do the same with this one I'm going to kind of base that one out that way they'll both have a a good base to set on and then we're gonna dig them up shouldn't be long today is tomorrow I was talking about yesterday we were gonna actually do this guess I can try to pour another one Maybe right here. Doesn't look like it got too deep. And I don't want to mess up anything I've already poured. Maybe right here. There we go. All right, we definitely got some bases down on those and uh, maybe we made a couple extra ones here. So that's kind of what I was shooting for is more of a base. I don't know how that's gonna look on top of the other base, how well they're gonna meld together. But I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna flip that tire back on here and just, uh, looks like they stayed. So maybe they'll build it back up and I'll come do it again better better the next time got all excited and started digging these up uh, as you can see that doesn't look too good but this one looks like it might just be something this piece looks like it's gonna come off but uh, looks like there's definitely some definition in there we'll have to take it over to the water hose and spray it off and see what we got but yeah that's definitely the biggest one I've done so far and just kind of see see what it ends up looking like. It looks like it's going to be pretty cool. There we go. piece of glass in there. That is pretty cool though. Cut this off right here. Definitely gonna have to find a way to tighten that up. 